Hello everyone, thank you for joining me again here on my channel today. I'm going to be painting a strawberry leaf that has started to turn colours now that we're coming to the end of summer and the leaves are starting to change here. Again, it's not intended as an instructional video and this is just the way I paint in my own nature journals and I hope you'll find it um, helpful or enjoyable. So I have sketched out the leaf with waterproof ink and I'm going to take my favourite cadmium yellow and the strawberry leaves in my garden are looking just so pretty at the moment. They are really starting to change colours. So beautiful. So I'm just taking the cadmium yellow and working all over. The three leaves. And cobalt blue. Down the centre. I'm retaining the green pretty much just in the centre of the leaves. Here it's dried a little. So I'll just pop back in with some cadmium yellow. I want to make sure the leaves are nice and vibrant and reflecting the true colours that I'm seeing in the garden. And then around the edges, around the edges of the leaves, we've got this really amazing, pretty pinky red. So I want to work around the edge. I don't know if this is a little bit wet. Still. See how it works out. And this is one of my favourite colours, Quin Magenta. Quinacridone Magenta. And if you've watched, if you've watched my videos previously, you will know, you'll be aware that I'm not terribly careful. When I started to keep an H journal, I tried to paint in the dry brush style that Miss Mason had her students use, but I found it took so long that I wasn't getting very much painted at all. So I just now work in a much looser style. And I still get the benefits of nature study. I'm still observing, still learning. But I definitely get more painted. So again, that was cadmium yellow. Cobalt blue. And I will 
touch in a little of the quinacridone pink. Sorry, quinacridone magenta. Just along the stalk. There we are. There's my strawberry leaf. So that was quite um, a fun one to paint. So thank you again for joining me. Um, if you pop along to my blog, uh, I've left, listed all the products that I've used today for this painting. Um, so www.raisinglittleshoots.com Thank you again for watching. Bye for now.